Hey guys, it's your girl London, and today we're going to be doing a first impression on the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Longwear Foundation. So if you want to see what my first impressions are, what the coloring looks like, and how it applies, then stick around because we are getting right into it. Okay guys, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Longwear Foundation. It is $44, it is one fluid ounce, and they have 44 shades available on the Sephora website. So let's get into a little bit about the foundation. It says it is a long-lasting, weightless hybrid skincare foundation and that it's Charlotte's secret to flawless, poreless looking, confident complexion. So skincare and the face makeup has really been doing a hybrid this year. They're trying to really blend the two together and give you some skincare products and some foundation products mixed together. Sometimes they're hit, sometimes they're missed, but we definitely will check this out here in a bit. This is a full coverage foundation. It is a matte finish. It's liquid and it's for normal dry and combination skin. So it does not say it's for oily skin. I'm not quite sure why. Clearly, it might be because when you put it on, it is going to be dewy, but it says that it's matte. So they may have just missed putting oily skin on there, or it may not be something that is for oily skin because even though it's matte, it may kind of um, aggravate the face and cause the oils to come to the surface. I guess we'll never know. We'll have to see if any of our oily skin friends out there have used the product and see how it fared for them. It does say combination. So if your combination oily and dry, it does appear that it's for you. So maybe you really do need that dry property to really help um, keep those oils down with this foundation. It says that it has an ingredient called Replexium, and it says that it helps to reduce the appearance of wrinkles. I find that sometimes a side eye with um, foundation products because they try to integrate the skincare and the foundation, and it's like, really, you're going to help me to reduce wrinkles? Mm, I'm going to side eye you on that. I'll still check it out, but I'm giving you a, a wide side eye. It says it also has a moss cell tech number one which helps to thoroughly hydrate the skin and it has the air cool ingredient which provides an immediate fresh feel on the skin. So I almost feel like when we put this on we're going to be feeling like minty cool the way we would if we chewed on some mint gum and then drank some water and just feels ooh, extra arctic in there. It says that the product is vegan and cruelty free. It says that it was tested on 30 men and women in a clinical trial. Of course, this is their clinical trial, and we don't have a lot of um, in-depth information about it, so we're going to take it for what it is. But they said that the moisture levels were boosted by 216% in one hour. So that's a lot. That may be why oily skin is not recommended, because it gives so much hydration. If you already have oily skin, you definitely may look a little more moisturized than you'd like to be. It says that they tested it on 311 men and eight, oh, 311 men and women over eight weeks. It was 97% agreed that skin felt cool after use and 95% agreed that pores looked reduced. When tested on 22 women, it said that the skin had limited exposure to everyday pollutants. Okay, so I know they did clinical testing, but to me, I don't really see personally a benefit in knowing that the skin felt cool that pores looked reduced, and that 22 of the women had limited exposure to everyday pollutants, so that may have you know, gone into why things were felt or not felt. I don't really care if it feels cool on my skin. And pores looking reduced, I kind of feel like if you go in with a toner that reduces the pores, then you'll have it, but we all know that pores are pores that you can clean them out. You can do some, you know, quick reduction with them with certain um, topicals, but the fact is is that they kind of are what they are. So appreciate the clinical testing, but not really uh, applicable for me. So it says if you want to use it, the suggested way is to apply it with a brush, of course the Charlotte Tilbury brush, we won't be doing that, um, and you should go from inward to outward. So put the most product here and then blend it outward. It says to use a dime size of the formula because a little goes a long way. And it says that you should allow the foundation to dry down so you can see the true color on your skin. So that is much like the um, Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. When you put it on, it dries down and it dries down um, a deeper shade. So. This may be my shade, this may be not, but we'll check it out and see. Let me go ahead and show you the product. And this is the box that it comes in. This lovely kind of traditional Charlotte Tilbury box, the kind of nudie peach pink, and the gold right here. A little blinding, but that's the box. On the box, it just tells you how to apply the foundation, which we've already read about. And I got this in the shade color 10N, which is, is 10 neutral. And this says that it is for tan skin with neutral undertones. 
now let's get to the actual product this is what it looks like this is gorgeous very much so true to charlotte she loves the kind of old hollywood gold right there reminding me very much of the great gatsby and it has this nice frosted bottle this is glass this is weighted this will break if it falls off of your counter so definitely be careful with that but i think that this is a nice bottle i kind of like how it's kind of a a uh, scrown tangle so it's a rectangle with that's a bit rounded and I like that I think it gives it a little bit of a luxe feel and then you have the Charlotte Tilbury CT right there so let's go ahead and take our cap off and it is a pump so I do like that also so let's see now I got this in my boxy charm if I didn't mention I just got my boxy charm in today this was in there so I wanted to go ahead and try it out with you guys and kind of see how we like it I do have my contacts in also. I got my contacts in two days ago, so I actually can see myself in the monitor, but I might still be looking over here at my mirror from time to time because I want to make sure I do get the application um, correct. So let me go ahead and push back my hair behind my ears. Hopefully nothing pops up. And then let's go ahead and get this. Oh, okay. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. All right. So mm, not too runny. So let's go ahead and do one side of the face. And I do already have my skin prepped, and I will have everything listed down below. Um, you guys know I do my moisturizer. I definitely do my under eye cream. Um, and then I go ahead and I do my under eye concealer and my under eye corrector, because I do put that underneath my foundation, not on top. So this was about two pumps. Um, and we are going to go in with our, whoa, pixie sponge right here. And we're going to just blend this in. I tend to like the sponge a bit more than a brush. Most times, as you guys know, the sponge really is my best friend. But I'm not opposed to the brush. I do have um, certain foundations, maybe some stick foundations that are a bit drier that I will use a brush with um, and then just go over the top of it with the sponge. But I personally just like the way um, the sponge blends things in doesn't leave any streak marks or things like that and again I really <laughs> I hate doing the foundation on, on camera because I'm always like girl get that spot get that spot blend it and I don't blend it I'm like oh gosh why did you do that so I'm looking in my mirror kind of seeing where we're at with things it looks blended looks like we have it all blended so this is the side then that's finished. So this is the side that's not finished. It has no, no foundation on it. And this is the side that does have foundation on it right here. So I think that it looks pretty good. I think that the coloring looks pretty good. It doesn't look too off. Um, Charlotte really has the tendency to go way into the orange range with colors, especially for those of us who have melanated skin. I mean, really, you can go Oompa Loompa status. So I'm interested to see when this dries down. Now, this is four o'clock in the afternoon. So this is four and we're going to give it some time and we'll see what it looks like with the dry down when we apply the other side. Okay, so there we go. Again, I think you definitely can see um, definitely some color evening definitely makes my skin look um have a nice uh, not golden color but just bring some life to my face versus the side of my face where i feel like maybe it looks a little dull without some foundation um i think again did even it out it doesn't look hydrated to me it doesn't look super dewy um and it definitely doesn't feel sticky or anything like that so let's go ahead and let's do the other side so again oh these are half pumps because i'm pushing the full thing down so actually we probably did one pump on the other side because I didn't push down fully on them. Okay. So let's go in now and see what we have with this one. There's so many foundations that I have tried out so far. <laughs> Guys, and let me tell you, I enjoy getting the boxy charms and the ipsies. I don't unbox them on line on my channel because I just don't do very well and there's just so many people who unbox the boxes who get PR and they get them very very early that by the time I get my boxes even though I think they have a warehouse over here um, on the east coast I tend to get my boxes a bit late so by the time I get them most people have already seen generally speaking what's inside there so 
I just like to sometimes take the products out of them and just use them and do reviews on them or first impressions on them rather than actually do um, at unboxing and trying the makeup out because you guys pretty much have seen it by the time I get the the box because I know I've seen a ton of them by the time I get the box. So that is, mm, let's see, let's make sure I didn't forget. I noticed my videos, I'm always like forgetting right here. So again, we did half pumps, so two half pumps, two half pumps, so really one full pump, one full pump. This is the side that we did first, this is the side that we did second. I can say, maybe it's just me, but this side does look like it's drawing down just a tad, like a, like a 0.25, a little bit deeper than this one. Not something super noticeable, but I think because we just applied it, you can see um, that this one definitely looks like it's dried down a bit more, this one doesn't. It is now 404, so amazingly that took us four minutes to put that on strange but it is what it is so this is what it looks like um i don't think we need to put any more on but just for the purposes of of kind of the first impression and seeing if you can layer i'll go ahead and i'll put some more on so i will do one full pump oh yes oh that's one full pump that's one full pump okay so one full pump yeah that is is a lot and we're gonna just Take it and put it all over our face and kind of see, is this something that you can build or is this something that really needs to stay with the one pump? But I am impressed either way because I think that the one pump definitely um, was enough, especially if you're doing like a summertime, kind of like a no makeup makeup, but you want something a bit more than a BBCC or a skin tint. I think that this, you know, looks like coverage wise um could be for you because even though it's a medium or i think it's a full coverage um it definitely looks to me not skin like but it didn't look cakey or heavy or anything like that i'm definitely noticing that with the second pump it is definitely looking more like foundation um and that's not a bad thing but it just looks more perfected so <laughs> less like my skin and more like a perfected skin um again the drawing down um i am noticing it's looking a little a <laughs> little bit orangey so i'm hoping that we don't go into oomba Luba status because that would just be a tragedy and that would be just be sad because i'm actually liking um the finish of this but i guess that we will see once we get done with the application if you notice my pictures are switched around i told you guys are doing renovations on my house they did they started renovating my bathroom which is right behind this wall and uh part of my paint actually fell off the wall um it's not plaster but it, it certainly looked like it and so they had to fix it when they fix it they clearly don't have my paint color and we didn't even tell them to repaint it because we're going to be painting this room anyway I, i'm not sure what color if it is, will be the same color that i paint it so they just you know buffed it out and things like that um but it left it took the paint off my wall right there so i had to swap my pictures out so that one was enough to cover um the place where they had made the oopsie daisy got a little bit of my hair right there but that's okay making sure that we have blended everything in okay it's now 407 we have it what do you guys think we have it all blended in this is a two pumps on the face so we really actually it really be more we did a full pump here because we did two halves full pump here and then a full pump on the face so three pumps all together um, is what we did and I have to say again, it doesn't look cakey, but it definitely does look more like foundation now, building it up. So in the future, I probably would just do the one pump and put it on or one and a half, but just one layer. I wouldn't add a second layer to it because it just looks slightly a little bit too perfected, um, which is fine if that's what you're going for. I'm filming, so it's fine. But if I was just doing a easy breezy day outside during the summer, I would just stick with the first layer. I wouldn't add an additional layer, but putting the additional layer on, it doesn't at this point look like it is cakey or anything like that. So 
what I will do, because you guys know I don't do wear tests, what I will do is I will come back after I have my full face of makeup on. We will just see how things applied to it. We will see if the color changed at all. We will see if we have any creping or anything like that. Right now, I mean, I don't notice a difference in my pores, but I also don't have um, what I consider to be large pores. So it looks the same to me. Um, but like I said, did even everything out, but I don't see any difference other than that doesn't feel sticky um, so hopefully everything will apply to it well but I will come back I will show you guys and we will kind of have a little chat skis about what happened with the face so I will be back in 2.2 you guys sit tight and I will talk to you in a bit it's check-in time guys so if you're wondering what the vibe is about then go ahead and make sure you're subscribed make sure you have your notification bell on so you don't miss a single video make sure you're checking the information box so if it's already live it will be in the information box and you've already seen the video that gave this look if not then again subscribe notification bell you will be notified when this video goes live and you won't have to miss a single one after that so guys let's go ahead and get into this foundation so it is six o'clock so it has been two hours that's not a lot of time but it's enough time again this is no wear test but let me go ahead and tell you guys what happened all the makeup went on it perfectly i use the ColourPop pretty fresh powders they went on beautifully um i use the uh blush from ofra i then topped it with pat mcgrath blush and i used the highlighter from pat mcgrath went on beautifully i used both a cream bronzer from fenty and i used a powder bronzer from hue to beauty went on beautifully i then used a more red toned bronzer from gucci it went on beautifully everything went on beautifully nothing skipped nothing was patchy everything just looked really 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 nice so what i have to say is that i think that the face looks really good it definitely looks um, a bit too flawless for a natural face, but I really do like it. I think that this is a good foundation um, if you have something to do. If you're somebody who just likes a more um, heavier coverage without feeling heavy, because again, this feels light as air. This it is the you know what is this? This is the <laughs> airless or air flash. This is the airbrush flawless foundation. It definitely feels like air. It never felt sticky. It doesn't feel like I have foundation on. It definitely doesn't feel like I have two layers of foundation on. So that is definitely a plus. My skin doesn't feel dry for it being matte. So there must be some hydration in there. So again, I would say that's a plus for it. That it is a matte finish, but it doesn't feel um, dry. And I'm somebody who is combination, but as you guys know, I lean more dry, especially right now. I have autoimmune issues and you know, lupus and, and sojourns and Hashimoto's kind of tells me what my skin is going to be and I never know what it will be from day to day month to month but we are in this dry spell right now um, and it doesn't feel dry it feels hydrated but not oily that's what I can say about that like I said I'm touching it right now nothing's coming off I don't feel oily nothing's icky or anything like that the one issue that I did have that I have found um, as I get a bit older, it becomes more prominent and definitely with certain foundations it becomes more prominent um, is right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right here though, you can see slight kind of cracking lines where I can't see it over here. So right here, I've, I've noticed that that has become a bit, this area right here has become a bit of a problem area for me. Um, again, as I get a bit older, and if you go like this, you can see that it's smooth. If you go like this, it crinkles again. Now I understand that I clearly have a fine line or a few right there and lines are lines things are going to sink into them it's a fluid what do you expect however there are some foundations that i have um like the kosas that does not do it the patrick star that does not do it so what i really look for now in foundations is how quickly is that going to do it? it's good like i said it's a line it's going to do it it's fine it's a face i'm aging but i think two hours in that's a little too early to do it i think around the five hour mark sure you know i've been laughing smiling maybe eating absolutely it's going to start to crease um, into this crevice right here and crack into that crevice but i've literally just been sitting here putting on my other makeup and then talking for a bit doing another video so if we're already to be doing that and i noticed it probably around the 45 minute mark and it just seems to have gotten a little bit worse um i think that that is too soon i think five hours absolutely i can see that but two hours into it 
nah, that's a little too soon. It's not going to make me kick the foundation out of bed. Um, I do overall really, really like it. I think it's great for filming. And like I said, if you're looking for that airbrush look, I think you're going to get it. If you want something that's really light, you're definitely going to get it from this one. You don't need two layers. You can do a kind of my skin bit better with one layer. So I think that is a nice foundation. Um, I'm glad to have gotten it in my BoxyCharm. Like I said, I wouldn't kick it out of bed. I will absolutely use it. I think 10N was a nice color because sometimes when you put on powders and things, um, if the color is even a hint too dark, it definitely will deepen up with your powders. But this stayed nice. I, I have to say, I really did like the 10 neutral, which I was happy about because as we know, Natasha tends to go a little Oompa Loompa on this. I don't feel Oompa loompa -y, um with this foundation on. So overall, I think it's nice. I think that is it top rated of the foundations I've tried thus far? No, but is it definitely in like the top 10? Absolutely. Um, I think so far with the foundations I've tried, it's up there. It's just not the, the top, um, in particularly because of this creasing and because when you put two layers on it, it very quickly looked like foundation. Not that it was heavy, but it just looked like it was foundation where there are some other ones where you can put more than one layer and it still keeps its kind of not their um, finish, um, and particularly the new Makeup Forever. Their new foundation, you can put two layers on, it still very much looks like your skin, where this really looked all of a sudden like I had foundation on. Um, so that took it down, and then of course this took it down. But again, we're not getting greasy. We're not um, looking dry and cracky anywhere else, except for where we have this little divot. So overall, it's a good foundation, I would say, if you have BoxyCharm. Don't toss it away. I definitely would give it a try. Uh, if you can get a sample, I definitely would say do that. Because overall, I think it's a good foundation. I definitely would give it like a three out of five. Absolutely. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give me two very enthusiastic thumbs up. Not one, but two. If you have not already, hit the subscribe button notification bell so you can be notified of all my videos and you don't miss a single one. Head on over to Instagram, follow me at Linda Brielle. See what I do when I'm not here with you. Head on over to TikTok, follow me at official underscore London Brielle and see what I'm doing or not doing over there on TikTok. Sometimes, guys, I am there for like five hours at night, literally it's like five in the morning, just trying not to laugh out loud because my husband's asleep and I'm saving all these videos to show him the next day because they're freaking just are hilarious especially the ones that do the signs like the different zodiac signs when they get broken up with when they're in their group project hilarious love it check it out so guys until next time let me know how you feel about this down below if you have this foundation how does it work for you um is it in your top is it not let me know the 411 Till next time guys i love you i miss you and i will see you on the flip side i love you guys bye